This is Monica Scanelli from The Cake Topa. Today I have something very special to show you. We will do now the little doll uh, for the cake topper. So once I will advise that you print the template that you will have from the link that we are providing you and so you can work better with the proportions. So what do I have is ivory fondant, you can choose any other color, it works the same. Black for the hair and then the rest, the shoes in brown and the rest is for the clothes and the flower. So first of all I will start with the body. So I will clean it a little bit the fondant until it's soft and elastic. There we go. If it's not really, doesn't have a con uh, the consistency that we need for making a figure, that means how, how do I know if it's correct? And I will just say, if you place it like this and it keeps the form and it's not bending, it's not falling, then it's just perfect. This is the perfect consistency of the fondant for making any type of figure. So what we do now, if you are not having this, then you can use cornstarch. You will simply just put a little bit and start knitting. There it is. Even my one was fine, it doesn't make anything. I mean, it's just a little bit. So, this is the way it is. I will start making the head and then the body. And then we will follow with the with the clothes and the hair. So, as I said, you can help yourself with the with the stencil for the proportions. So now I will be doing the hair, and I will just start rolling and pressing. Rolling it's not just enough. You need to press a little bit, and do not use your fingers try to use this part of the hand. If you use your fingers, this is what it's going to happen. You will never get it really nicely because of the, the, the fingers. So if you do it on your, the palm of your hand, it's a different story. So we roll. And once we, we see that there is, everything is even, there is no cracks on the fondant, then we can go on. So I will start again. There was a crack I don't like. So I'm rolling and pressing at the same time. So now it looks perfect. So even if you have some cracks, you can place it on the back side. So you cannot see it on the face and then it's fine because it will be covered by the hair. So what we do, we start pressing a little bit. Again, do not use your fingers, use this, the part of the palm of the hand. And so we start pressing. And you can check on top of the stencil if you have the size. So this means a little bit more. With a little bit of cornstarch on the table. You can press with your hand. Don't forget not to lose this round ball because it's really nice. So now we have the size. So this will be the head. I will set aside. Then I can start to work with the face and the hair. So the hair, I did choose black color. Again the same, we will clean it until it's soft and elastic. So for the top side of the head, I will choose to work with a rolling pin, just a little bit. Not much, because we don't want this really, really thin. So three to five millimeters will be fine. So there we go. 
So now what you can do is like you can cut the stencil or you can work like with the stencil next to you with the head on top so you know that you will need a little bit more because you want to glue it. So I will do it a little bit bigger. I will go like this. this. Do not worry that it doesn't look nice at the moment. So we know that we're going to cut here. This is this line. So now we'll just take out the hair, set aside, and I will just try to work this form that we have like this. And then to the other side. And again, and I cut. So so as I said, if you like, you can you can do a few stencils and you can cut this form of the hair to be sure, and then you place it on top. I like to do it like this. So I will take a little bit of water, and I will just go through the head, also a little bit on the back side. Not much, it should not drop, it's just a little bit. So and now I will place it like this and I will start pushing. Just did a line that it's like the cut, this cut line. And then one side is blue. I will go on. And I just can push a little bit so we have this nice round form. Now that we have the hair, it's easier to start with the face. So first of all, I will just add a little bit water because for the eyes and for the nose. So the nose is a very, very tiny dot. of ivory color. Now we we'll just glue it in the middle. And now I can guide myself a little bit easier. To make the eyes I will roll black fondant really really thin, a thin cord. So thin as you can. go. So I will cut one and I will cut the other side. There it is. So I'll take it, I will roll a little bit again. Then with a little bit water Now we'll paste it and then the other side. Then we will bend a little bit, just a little, little, little bit with the help of the pencil. Just a little bit with the help of the brush. So now we will do the lashes. 
So these are thinner. Two of each side. So once again, watch out, not cutting your hand. If you prefer, you can do it on the table. I prefer to do it on my hand. But you really need to be very careful. So I have two. I will roll again. So with the help of the brush, I put it on my hand, I roll a little bit, I take the other one and I roll. Just add a little bit water and then I can proceed to place them one next to the other one. There it is. And we repeat the same on the other side. There it is. And the last one. So, fine. So for the moment, we don't need the black fondant, so I will just set aside. And um, I will do the little mouth, like it's shown here. Just a little bit water. And then with the darker pink, I will do a very, very tiny ball. And I will just press on both sides. So now you can see the form a little bit better. There it is. So not to forget the eyebrows. These are two tiny black balls and then I enlarge them. And I will glue them directly on top of the eyes. So we are ready with the face. Now we can continue with the body because at last, after that we have the clothes, we will do the hair. So I will go back. We'll just spare a little bit the black so it doesn't get dry. You should keep them in a bag. It depends on, on the room temperature in the country that you're living. I can keep my fondant without any bag for a while and it doesn't get dry, so it's okay. So I go back to the ivory color fondant. And um, what I will do basically it's the neck and the neck it's a tiny cylinder there we go and then I will do directly the body Remember to work with your template so you can see a little bit the proportions. So I will just do a ball and then I will en enlarge. So this is the head, so you can just see this is how long the body is. 
So once I have this, I will just press a little bit. Press. I have this and I will cut in the middle only the lower part and I will just work a little bit on separating the legs and making them a little bit more round so it's not so sharp there we go. so that will be the, the legs and the neck use toothpicks to um, connect the body the neck and the head be careful with this because it can be dangerous if a, somebody wants to eat the, the figure so the best is that in that case if you think that somebody is gonna eat it that you use a spaghetti it will work out and if not then you need to be stable then you need to advise everybody to be careful because this can be really dangerous so what we will do is like slowly press and turn and turn and just go on top and slowly keep going. Now I, you can see this now, just a little bit more. Then you can connect the neck. There we go. Then we press a little bit more and we will join all parts. There we go. So for now we can set the doll part and we will go on with the poncho that's the name of her clothes we will do it in blue so with a little bit cornstarch so it doesn't get glued to the table use there we go so you can actually check if it's gonna work out or not the size if you have done enough or not so this will be definitely enough so first I will do a cut You see? Then I will go on with the other cut. 
then you can check again if it's long enough or is it if it's too short so I think this will be enough you need to think that on you need you want to see the arms so if we cut a little bit more this should be enough there we go yeah this should be enough so and now we cut open on the same line just take a little bit and just take off these parts and now before I glue it I will add the arms these are two little balls in ivory color just make sure that they have the same size so with a little bit water on the side roll and enlarge same roll and enlarge then once again I will check I will make a check so I want I want to see the arms so I have to glue them about there So now we will cover the body. We'll just go with a little bit of water. And you can also add a little bit of water on one side and the other one only there because you have already on the body. So what I will do now is put the punch on top, take the doll with my hand and then carefully bend the poncho and then on the other side just trying to keep this form here and then on top we will press a little bit more This is how we want that it looks like. There it is. So we'll set aside the blue color because for now we don't need it anymore. And what I will do, it's like I will work again with the black fondant to create the hair. So again, I will knead until it's soft and elastic. I will say, try that both sides are the same and um, I will do a ball by pressing and rolling pressing and rolling and what I want is that the hair comes from here down to the body so I will enlarge and before I give the form I will check is it enough or not then you know that if you can you need more fondant or not but in this case it's enough so once I have this form, I will press a little bit, just a little bit. Do not lose this round form. It's important. It looks much more nicer. Then you will start working with your fingers or you can use also your tools and 
to give some form so and then you press and then again on the other side and again and again and then you can press again make sure that the edges are not sharp and then we will glue from this part down to the body so this is how you will fix And on this other side, we repeat, we do exactly the same. Then again, large, and we do a check. Is it enough? Yes. So I will press. And I will give some form. Doesn't need to be the same on the other side. So this is how we are doing this one. And again, the same step. We glue. So now what we will do is like decorate the poncho, do some finishings and then we will follow up with the shoes. So I have some different colors here. I have a dark pink. And a lighter one. So I will use both. With the light one, I will just roll out. We can even do it like thinner by taking out the rings. Make sure that it, the fondant doesn't glue on the table. If it does, just use a little bit cornstarch. In this case, I don't need it because my fondant is already firm enough. So what I do now is like I will just try to cut like up to five millimeters there we go so i will put this from here then cut it and put it on the other side so what we need is to do this sort of cut <laughs> Placing like this. Remember to also glue on the on the back side so it gives a nice effect like this. And then we repeat the same on the other side. So I will just cut like this.
add the water from behind to the front and then we repeat by gluing like this and then pushing in the back and then cutting so now i will just do some decorations you can do in another color i think that this is looking very well a darker pink and i will just add some little balls like this one and here another one maybe in the middle another one you can do more or less so here let's put another one in here so this will be so now that we have this done we can continue with the shoes with the brown fondant I will knead until it's soft and again make sure it doesn't glue on the table you can simply put add just a little bit and then on the table and it, you won't have a problem so here we are then I have this cutter it's a round one and I will just simply take one and two and once I have them I will just in the middle take this part again and it will look like a half moon and the other one again the same so I have two half moon And I will proceed to glue them as it will be like a shoe. Just a little bit of water, we don't need much. And here again. So, there she is. There is one shoe. So as the girl needs to stand on the cake, you need to make sure that when you are placing your finger like this, it goes straight. If not, she's not the shoe is gonna break at the mom at the time that you wanna place it on the cake. So we repeat same step on this side. There it is. We can add a little bit more water here. There it is. And again, I check. You can also check directly if it's really working, and it does. So we can continue. So to end, we will make some little flower to place in the hair. Again, I will use the darker pink. And I have this flower cutter. Let's just take this small flower. You can glue more than one. In this case, I will just only place one here. Then in the middle, I will add a little bit more water. And with the yellow fondant, I will just glue in the middle a very little tiny 
Ball of Fondant. So. so, this is the doll. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. I hope you join me in the next episodes and don't forget to follow me on Instagram.